Hi everyone, this is New York Beauty XOXO here with another video. This is my third time trying to film this, so let's just get into it because I'm getting impatient. Um, I just got out of the shower, I have to be at work in like, I have to leave for work in like an hour and a half. Um, and I was gonna, after I film this, do a get ready with me if I have time. If not, I'll just do my makeup and do it another day. Because I want to try out some new products. Um, I went here and here, and I have a couple birthday things that I never got a chance to show you. So anyway, first I went to Sephora with my husband last weekend, and um, I mainly went to my birthday gift and to look around and see if I was going to use my gift card. Um, I was originally going to save it for skincare, but I just couldn't do that. So <laughs> um, I looked in my existing cart, because I always have a running cart, and I did notice that I had some NARS products on there, and I was kind of mesmerized by the NARS counter. So, what I did this previous weekend was I went through my stash of makeup. Um, I didn't film it, but I should have. And to organize and to see what I need to throw out and what I have and what I don't have. So, I didn't just buy makeup just to buy makeup. And I was, I've been dying for the, the NARS blush in Sin because I have, I have like the typical orgasm that comes with the blush duo with the bronzer and I just don't like it too much I'm sorry I don't know maybe it looks good on like more pinky fair tones or darker skin tones but it doesn't I feel like it doesn't look good on me so I'm going for sin this time it's a little deeper like plummy color um so I'm hoping that this works out and um I mean their packaging is luxurious Another thing that I had seen on Jaclyn Hill's videos um, is her, and I also saw it in another makeup artist who, in my opinion, is even better of a makeup artist um, than Jaclyn Hill, who isn't as overrated, and um, I don't know her name, like I don't remember her name, but she's really good, and um, she was talking about Chelsea Girls lip gloss. Um, I was in the market for lip gloss, and I was going to wait to get it like a back to Mac because I do like their lip glasses um but I said what the hell I have the gift card and it looks like this and of course my coloring is a lot more yellow and darker than Jaclyn Hill and this other makeup girl I think her name's Brianna Fox maybe but um I'm gonna give it a whirl I just hope it doesn't have that like plastic smell it doesn't. Oh, thank God. The last two I've had, I had to return, and one I threw out because it had a disgusting smell. I'm hoping this stays good. Okay, so I got those two, and then I go to the register to pay, and my husband is so, he's just hilarious because I, I went in there saying I'm getting the Caudalie because, like I said, I'm interested in skincare right now, and um, right now I've been using the Josie Marin um, Light Argan Oil on my face, and it's really making a difference. I really like it. Now that it's not as hot, um, I can do that. So I I opened this up and I'm looking at it this weekend and it's hilarious because it doesn't even say what it is. It, it says it's a moisturizing sorbet. Like, does that mean a moisturizer for your face? I don't know. Sorbet, I was pretty sure that is like a fancy schmancy like name for like ices. Um, and then here is a serum that goes with it. So I'm assuming that this is like a day moisturizer and this is like a serum. To put on before or maybe at night I don't know I'm gonna read it further and see um, it's like guessing games with these like places like tell the public how to use it okay anyway so I get up there and I was like I know I'm getting quarterly and she was like trying to like tempt me with the tart one and my husband's like well it just my birthday just passed and I have it and she's like well you're not a beauty insider and he's like well what do I have to sign up for and do to become that? And she's like, listen, just take it. <laughs> so my husband like annoyed, I guess, her into giving me. So I have another blush. She's probably close in color to sin. I don't know. But it came with the little, um, what is this called? I forgot. I've had one of these before. I got it when I bought one of those Christmas gifts, um, gift sets from Tarte. And it was an Obvi, and I really liked it. I used it up until it was gone, which it was like a month's supply. It really didn't last that long, and I used it like every day, just like once a day, twice a day. 
So this is birthday suit, I was told, and it's more like deeper, less sparkly than Avi, but um, I'm going to give it a whirl. So I got two blushes and two lip glosses. <laughs> I guess I was in the market for blush and lip gloss at Sephora with um, some skincare to try out. Because I really do like Caudalie. I think I used something of theirs once and I liked it. Um, it was like a smaller size. Another reason why I wasn't that that interested in getting skincare is because that's kind of what I was aiming for when I went to Lush. Um, if anybody has ever seen my channel before and you know my situation, I need to get my bathroom redone. So I don't buy too much bath bombs and things like that because I will not be soaking in a tub. Um, both of my full baths are disgusting and need to be redone. But I couldn't resist. I got the uh, comforter bubble bars and... I don't know, this is like the orange man mandarin. I usually get the pinky one, and this the orange was just calling my name. So I got this one instead. And I'm going to, how I'm going to use it is I'm not going to throw it in the bathtub. I'm going to just break it up and put it on my loofah, I guess. Um, My phone's ringing off the hook, so I apologize. I'm going to shut the door so you guys don't have to hear that anymore, possibly. And the other thing that I got is I got Ocean Salt. Um, I've been wanting this product forever. And I don't know, I was just kind of like hesitant. I didn't know if it would work with my skin. I didn't know if I could use it up before it expired. But I said, I'm just going to get it. I love their face products. And um, that's it. So I got it. It's a little leaky, honestly. Um, but I'm going to, now that I hold it, I'm going to put it in my shower. Um, it's a face and body scrub, but I'm going to use it for my face. Because I just ran out of, in my next um, empties video, you'll see, I just ran out of the face um, exfoliator that I was using recently, and I didn't like it enough to repurchase it. It was a um, Garnier one. Um, it had a strong scent for something to go on your face first thing in the morning. It almost smelled like men's cologne, um, and it had like blackness to it. It was supposed to have like charcoal properties. And I gotta be honest, it did nothing for me. If anything, it actually made me get like blackheads. So never use that again. Another thing I forgot to show you guys was I got this beach full size body spray. Um, it's something I got it in fall, which is odd, but I went to get it in the summer because I had a coworker who wore it a lot. It smelled great on her, and I used to use her hand um, lotion a lot. Um, and I went to get it several times. I went to get it probably at least twice. Um, over the summer and it was sold out both times so I had said to them are you getting beach back in and they said no so I went and got um, the almond um, scent instead which I, is actually in my purse I do like that but sometimes I just want that like beachy sunscreen smell even though it's October because it's still technically warm out I haven't even used um, my wintry perfumes yet I usually start using them in October I'm going to have to start using them in like December, January, February, honestly, because it is warm and it's humid and my hair is like frizzy, like honestly. Um, New York has not um, cooled down yet, really. Um, another thing that my mom had got me is a pair of black Skechers. Um, they're sneakers. They're, they don't have ties. They're just slip-ons. They're extremely light and it has uh, obviously that memory foam comfort. Um, I just wanted a pair of black, like, go around town, walk the dog kind of shoes. Um, I also have to wear shoes for my job. And on Saturday and Sunday, we're on the go a lot. Um, so I tend to go gravitate towards those shoes, especially now that it's October. Um, so she got them just in the nick of time. And I think they were on sale, honestly. Like, I have fancy schmancy sneakers, and I wind up going for those more often because um, Skechers really makes your feet happy um, after wearing them for 8 to 10 hours. So, you know, I'm starting to go for comfort, and they're cute enough. Um, one more thing I got this weekend, which I so was in the market to um, buy something from Bobble Bar. I've been looking and looking, and I just never can make a decision between a necklace, bracelet, or earring. And I wound up getting these for my husband. I got a pair of earrings from Target for my birthday. I believe I showed in the haul that are a little silver and a little bit bigger. And Target now, if you haven't seen recently, they actually have a line of bubble bar. It's called Sugar Something and um, 
I believe it's called sugar something. And it's kind of like an in-between line made for Target. Maybe not as expensive as their online boutique. So basically I got this choker. And you can see it so well. It is, it's basically like lined in yellow. And it just goes like that. But it's extremely sparkly and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to put this on and I'm going to go make a video, another one. So you guys have a great day. New York Beauty XOXO.